Okay, we're working with the consumption function. Consumption equals autonomous consumption plus marginal propensity to consume, disposable income, and also the savings function equals minus autonomous consumption plus the propensity to save, small s, and disposable income. Now, when we put in the values, we know that the marginal propensity to consume, small c, is 0.9. And then the question is, if there's an increase in disposable income of 100, what happens to your consumption spending? In this case, it will increase by 90, that is 0.9 times 100. If you put the values in your savings function, your savings function, the marginal propensity to save will be 0.1, that is 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume, it's 0.1. If there's an increase in disposable income of 100, then we end up with an increase in savings of 10. So what happens if output and income increases in the economy, you will get a 90 increase in consumption and a 10 increase in savings. In other words, what we know is that if output and income increase in the economy, then consumption will increase as well as savings.